the hell is this? Okay. <sighs> Fine. Low lives. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. <laughs> Derpy as shit. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? <laughs> Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it. It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not no. doing it, whatever it is you're <laughs> implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> This is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? Don't no. act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. <laughs> Let's see. Where are why not? Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Worthering Heights on Ice. Oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing <laughs> to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Yeah, I'll see. Well, if you cooperate, maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the west side of town. C carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, <laughs> and he needs his vitamins and such, see? Ain't that right, John John? Smuggling is such a strong word. That's right, John John. Sweet Christ. <laughs> Carrots. <laughs> Carrots, see? Yeah, gotta have them right now. Good, big, and strong. So, why are you here exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. Oh, I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24 hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful. Or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop <laughs> like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way. Or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. <laughs> Jesus. Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, Kidnapping. those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure. And your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? man. Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help oh, me. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. <laughs> 
I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about it? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? Jesus Christ. What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. <clears throat> sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. Sweet Jesus. Well, this thing really stands out. Right? We'll have to find another way. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. <laughs> right. What is this? A car for ants? An empty glass? It's the biggest mistake I've seen all day. That's what that is. <laughs> I have no clue what that is. A wild guess. It's a single copper dime with a printing error. Jesus Unique. Christ. Extremely rare. Not as valuable as one might think. Huh. A bag of candy. I knew a girl named Candy once. Whatever happened to her? Um, well, given the name, there's, I have a couple of guesses. Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? Doubtful. Oh, boy. I have no idea where the drawing guy went with this one. <laughs> Jesus. Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. God damn it. A book titled Half Life 3. Oh, I bet it's fantasy. Ah. <laughs> nice. An empty box. Just think of the possibilities. It's got drawers. I guess the logical thing to do here would be to search the drawers for clues. But I'm not going to do that. I have my reason. What the fuck? Some PIU are. Depicting colors contained by various forms and shapes. Mm hmm. No? Okay. Is it a monkey? Roses in a field? An orange? I'm really bad at appreciating art. Someone, somewhere, put their soul and moderate effort into making this. <laughs> and I hate it. Nothing a little paint there I can't fix. <laughs> but I hate it. Uh, Alright. The size of this box is only matched by its inability to comprehend reality. What? Look at that lamp, lamping around like there's no tomorrow. You go, lamp. Yeah, you go, lamp. A wise man once said, the windows are the eyes of a house. I've got a sudden urge to play it on stage and destroy it over the drum kit. I should tear them in case I need to make a rope to climb down the window. A level 6 sword. Hmm, it has higher damage than my gun. I'm more of a range guy myself. Maybe I can sell it at a shop. Jesus. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. Because we have a sword, that's... Storage space reserved for various miscellaneous. Yeah, Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember having a crush on Beverly Christie in high school. I would follow her home from school every day. Then she saw me one day and mm. called the cops. Now I'm a registered stalker. Jesus. Other things. What the? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that probably could have done without that information. Jesus Christ. 
Alright, so I was gonna leave that there for now. Those two clowns are in there, oh, not boy, being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's okay. hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. Jesus Christ. Uh, stalking bunnies. Stalking gangster bunnies that have a carrot mafia heist thing. It's locked. I mean, of course it is. Oh, God damn every fucking... Give me that. Get in there. Get in there. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Yeah, I'm sure you're fine. All right. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, it's fine. All right. What we got? I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. Some weird plant is sticking out of it. Creepy dude. A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. Oh, Lord. Some paintings depicting life in a small rural community. Autumn harvest and whatnot. This thing is so dusty. It's like a... It looks like... The thing, um, to, uh, whatever. Mm hmm Can we clean them? I can't use that. Oh, my God. It's a duster. What do you think it's dusters used for? Naggy freaking thing. Ugh. I love wearing these around the house. They make me look taller. They're really uncomfortable, though. Right? I don't get how women do that shit. Like, it looks so uncomfortable. It's my parents' closet. Also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. It's a plastic wrap for your clothes, for some reason. Why is your voice suddenly fucked up? It's one of my dad's cameras. It probably fell down by accident. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's your thingy. Bring forth camera. This is evidence now. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. What? Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? I take offense to that. You shut your mouth, you. This lamp is pretty. So tall and lean and lacy on top. It's like a supermodel lamp. Right. It's for sitting down. Like, way down. <laughs> mom and dad's bed or the inside trampoline as I like to call it naturally a chandelier it's French for fancy lamp All right. to the dark room hmm all right okay it's a combination lock safe. Let's try to guess the combination, Ted. How hard can it be? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Maybe it's zero, 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 zero. Or, or 74? One, zero, s Are you kidding me with this? Okay, you're right, I give up. Jesus. Oh, uh, that 107, was that right before? Yeah, look there at that we go. shit. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Kind hey, these are the liquids mouth. for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Little pickpocket, ain't ya? Just taking all this random shit. Nothing to see here. Move along now, Amber. Yes, sir. The fuck? A book titled Developing for Dummies. I guess developers are dummies. This book is a good investment. 
Nothing interesting about this. Shit. Well, that's mine now. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. Yeah, you can probably wake up upside down. Seems like it's empty. You can pour something in it, like water or fire. Yeah, because liquid fire, you know. It's common stuff around the house. What kind of life do you live? Jesus. My mom uses the same one to wash Ted in. What? That's not true. I have a shower in my office. Oh, you do, do you? Big ass bottles. Yeah. Big ass bottles. <laughs> Just a bunch of bottles. <laughs> Two to be exact. Nothing interesting about them. <laughs> yes. Big ass bottles. Step right up, folks. <laughs> Big ass bottles. Big ass bottles. Big ass bottles. Step. <laughs> Big ass bottles. Just a bunch of bottles. Two to be. Okay. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh. You put a film inside, and then it projects onto some piece of paper that you bathe, and you get photos. Hmm. Nice. The Nothing happened. There's something missing. God damn it. Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. It's an empty image filled with, um, some silver dust. You put it in the machine over there, and then some other stuff. Then you get photos of my school recital. Sweet Jesus. Nothing happened. There's something missing. God damn it. It's just a tap. It has measuring units on the side. Not that I would know anything about that. I'm 10 after all. Mm. Used to develop photos of you going to visit your boring old relatives that one summer when you had nothing else to do. Used to pinch things. Extremely breakable, especially when thrown or dropped against a hard surface. For storing preserves and other stuff. Hmm. Guess this room isn't so dark after all. Ah, there we go. Yes. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. We can get it from that machine over there. You know how to use that thing? Not yet. But I was voted most likely to figure stuff out in my school once. Most likely to shut that fucking place on fire. Isn't it? Oh, stupid. Bitch, I swear to God. How about now? There. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. Hmm. Indeed. Used to defascinating nope. stuff. Nope. Stop it. Snobby little tart, isn't she? Holy shit! That's kind of horrifying. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find mom and dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Oh, uh, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie. Yeah, mm. you're right. <laughs> we have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. No, I mean, that kind of makes sense, actually. So, have you been lately? <laughs> All right. Guess... Oh, what the fuck? So... Um, I 
What the? Why am I? Why am I him now? Oh, okay. I'm guessing. I'll bet you this is Flint. That's what I think is going on here. I think your brother's a fucking little pyro. Okay, you can't just like float through the ether or something? No? That's. Oh, wait, what the fuck? No, what the fuck? No. No. Well, that's fucking, I'm not gonna fucking attack the drop. Are you fucking high? Oh, not really, we're coming. <laughs> At the speed of smell. Millie, are you okay? We heard a scream. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It was him, the red man. You just missed him. We found a photo. He's in my house, Millie. What? You just missed him. He must have heard you two coming, because he jumped out the window seconds before you came in. Several I seconds. can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. It's okay, Millie. We're here now. You're safe. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. What? Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. What, what about Millie? Are we gonna leave her alone? What if the red man shows up? She'll be fine. Millie's a tough broad. She'll probably whack the hell out of him until he's had enough and <laughs> surrenders to local authority. <laughs> Millie, are you gonna be fine on your own? Don't worry about me, little miss. I'll go and find some place to hide. You two better be careful out there. Right. Shut it's that, huh? just a window. Don't let this crippling amnesia get to you. You can do this. What? Whatever. Oh, the wait. A door that lead no really. Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. God damn it. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember my first job. I got a job helping out at the local library after school. I was never much of a bookworm, but I would just sit there among the books and smell the air, see? That old book smell still lingers to this day. I would sit there on a banister way past the end of my shift, admiring all the people there, the scholars, the academics. I guess they were a reminder of all the things I could be someday, see? Then they had to lock up and the janitors would come and just toss me out back into a dumpster. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, we'll just have to figure out how to get in the frickin' attic next time. Ah! So there's a red man running around that I'm betting is this girl's brother or parent, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure that out next time. Thank you for joining me. And as always, be safe out there.